Running Farm Family. How are y'all doing? Today is an exceptionally humid day. It was extremely foggy this morning. I mean, if we walk over here really quick so I could get back to my rocker, just look at the condensation and all of that, how, how wet they have the windows. Isn't that crazy? So with that alone, you already know the humidity is extremely high, but that doesn't stop us from what we have to do on the farm, right? So, you know, I have my main man, per usual, Achilles, the black Russian terrier here with me this morning. And Tucker heard my voice. So Tucker said, well, good morning. I'm here too. <laughs> so as you can see, I have the whole gang here with me. And Mama's about to come out. Egypt's about to come out. Uh, baby Pharaoh as well. You can hear big boy going crazy in the back. Jeez. He is really at it this morning. <laughs> there he goes. But I hope everyone's having a great morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time of the day it is. Y'all already know that here at Al Brown Farmhouse, we do not take your view for granted. There's a lot of homestead channels, farm channels. You could have clicked on any of them. But you're right here with us in this very moment, and we truly, truly, truly appreciate you for it. So what do we have going on today? Well, today's a big day. We've been talking about this for about the past month when it comes to the goats. We want to rotate them. So we want to put the does, the girls, where the boys currently are. And we want to put the girls where the boys currently are. But we might as well get two birds with one stone, right? So we're also going to go ahead and get the baby goats together and get their 90-day weights. We keep them on mama for 120 days. It's time to get their 90-day weights. We'll go ahead and also, you know, do a, a wellness check on all of the goats, um, as well as a few other updates as well. So let's go over and head to the barn Let's see if we could get all of the goats into the stalls so we can begin this process. All right, y'all. So we have Egypt Rose out here now with us. Egypt, say good morning. Good morning. All righty. Well, it's morning for us, but you know. Um, so part of the wellness check is we're going to be taking a look at the uh, goat's hooves. And I think the only one that we really need to take a look at is mama goat. Um, so if you've seen our 30 day weight or 60 day weight, you already know we use a scale. It's very easy how we do it. What are the steps to this, Egypt? We hold one of the babies and we step on the scale. Uh huh. And then it tells us how much we both weigh. Mm -hmm. But then you subtract and then you get how much they weigh. Bam. That's it. So we get our weight. We get our weight holding one of the babies, and then we just do some simple subtraction, y'all. Hey, it works. <laughs> but as you can see, we have them all in here right now. These are all the mamas and the babies. Hey, if you want to get a goat anywhere, if they're bucket trained, they're going to follow you. <laughs> That's just facts. So we came in here, gave them a little bit of grain. They're all in here enjoying that. Well, hey there, Carol. Sweet girl, I see that stick of shame. Yeah. I see that stick of shame. And I have some footage of me putting that stick of shame on Carol. If you don't know, Carol, kind of like Snow White, who's right there. Snow White got intense again. Has, yeah. So, Carol right here has a stick of shame. We need to get another one, though. Because she always thinks the grass is greener. So she always gets her head stuck in a fence, and then we have to come get her. So what the stick does, y'all, is the stick uh, stops her from being able to get her head through the fencing. So, yeah, yeah, it's like having a dunce hat on. <laughs> but all right, y'all, we're about to go ahead and get this party started so we can get these things on the move. As many of y'all know, I still work off of the farm. Uh, Natalie does as well. She's just on maternity leave right now. 
So after we weigh these goats, do their health check, try to move them where the boys are, try to move the boys where the girls are, man, I got to get showered and I got to get ready for work. So it's going to be a, an eventful morning and I have a time limit. So we're going to get to that right now. As you can see, bam, there goes mama and she has baby Pharaoh. Let's take a look at him. All right, y'all. So here's mama and here's baby Pharaoh with his own fan. It feels so good. I need one of those, <laughs> but he's relaxing y'all. He's ready to see us waste some goats and get them on the move. So let's get to it. Uh, Egypt, you could grab whatever baby you want first and we'll get this party started. And what I'll also do for you is on the screen, look, they're going head to head. <laughs> on the screen, I'll put the 30, I'll put the name. So the baby goat's name. I know a lot of you are still getting to know our animals. <laughs> look at them. Um, I'll put their 30 day weight and I'll put their 60 day weight. And then of course, today's weight, the 90 day weight. So as you can see, we have them over here in Bo's stall. We have the first baby up. This is Spirit. Egypt weighs 71 pounds, y'all. So, Egypt, if you can, go ahead and get Spirit. Some of you commented on how Egypt picks these babies up. They are pretty big babies now. These are Kiko goats, meat goats. But Egypt's been in the weight room. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. But she does do gymnastics, so I think her body, her upper body strength is getting, uh, is getting, getting pretty up there. So, as you can see, this is saying 104.6. 104.6. So, you're putting it in the notes as well, Mama? Uh huh. So, you're putting it in your notes, Mama? Yeah, 33.46. 33.46. some weight, girl. All right, now, I like it. Bam, just like that. All right, next baby up. Look at Egypt trying to catch one of them, y'all. <laughs> All right, she's got fancy pants. Fancy Pants was the first, was the first born. She was born about 12 hours before the next set that we had. So let me go ahead and get these babies out the way. Go ahead and walk out. All right, y'all. So we had to tap Nico in for Fancy Pants. 256. So she is 39 pounds. Last time she was 31.8. Go ahead, girl. Next up, who can Egypt catch? There we go. Tucker, that was a good jump. I saw that. Mama, the mathematician, she says on point. And a closer look at the stick of shame. And look at, here's the dots I've been talking about on her ears. That's my favorite. She's so pretty. There you go. Girl, you're so strong. You got her weight. Mm -hmm. You're so strong, girl. Let me get let uh, let daddy get the door for you. you you're a cutie. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> right. She's gained the most pounds. Eating all that grass. Yeah. She's gained seven pounds. So Carol has gained seven pounds, and that puts her weight where, Mama? That's Thirty-six. Thirty-six. All right, come on. Carol's the one that sneaks out. Carol's the one that sneaks out all the time, y'all. So. She's been getting that premium, that premium grass. Butterscotch's mama is right here. Peaches, yeah, right? that's peaches. Yeah. Ooh, you wrangle them, Egypt Rose. I like it, girl. Oh, she's so light. All right now. So Egypt is on the scale, and it says 103.6. 103.6. So she gained 4.6. Mocha is so funny. All right, y'all. So we have one more kid from our crop. And it's Caramel. As y'all know, she's over here in stall uh, because she hurt her leg. And we're still trying to figure out exactly what happened. But we've kept her with fresh water. And we bring her food throughout the day. Uh, she's already had her breakfast. And so. she gets up and she walks. Yeah, she does walk around, but it's very clear that she's still hurt. Yeah. Now, there's one. So we reached out to a vet that was supposed to come, um, but then she referred us to another vet that's closer to us because she was like an hour and ten minutes. Because we really live in the boonies, y'all. Um, yeah. But 
that vet is on vacation until next Monday. Mm -hmm. So I sent an email and called. Um, so then when she gets back, yep. she'll be coming over. So although this is more than two days later that we're uploading this video, this is only two days later since we found her this way. And I did go ahead and split her leg. You can see it right there. Um, I have footage of me doing that. That's probably been playing over us uh, speaking this whole time. Um, but we're optimistic that the vet will be able to come out here to take a look at at uh, Caramel next week and also Esther. Esther. Yeah. So what's wrong with Esther, Mama? She has an umbilical hernia. Mm -hmm. um, so I called a couple different vets just to make sure, like, is there anything that we can do right now before the vet gets here? And they were like, nope, she's, like, she's eating, she's doing good. Um, so next step is just the procedure to get rid of that umbilical hernia. So both of them are fine, y'all. We are doing all we can to get vets out here. We've probably contacted, Mama's probably contacted about five or six different vets. Um, and it sounds like we'll have one that'll be able to come out next week when she gets back from vacation. But Esther's living her best life. She's eating, running, playing with, uh, with Leroy. And, and as y'all can see, Caramel's over here doing all right as well. So we're watching them every day until we can uh, get the vet to see them. But uh, Egypt's about to get Caramel so we can get her weight. All right, y'all, we got 106.4, 106.4, and uh, Egypt, let me see here. So we do have her splint up. We're gonna take it off and check on her hoof right here. But yeah, let's go ahead and get her down because she is heavy. All right. So we're gonna let Caramel get her rest in, y'all. We have all the baby's weights. When it comes to medicating our kids, their first dose of medication um, comes from when they're still in mama's womb. They get to see D and T and all the benefits of everything mama's eating, the minerals that she's bringing in, all of that good stuff. Boy, goats, kids at 90 days, they get their C, D and T, they're weaned. We also copper bullet them as, as well as check them out. Now, there's no specific, and <laughs> they're so loud. There's no specific part of this video where where like you see us literally talk through the health check that I was mentioning, but as we're interacting with them, as we're watching them, we know their personalities, as I pick them up, as Egypt picks them up, uh, we're looking at their body, we're looking at their fur, their coat. Their coat could be a great giveaway of deficiencies that they may have, and that, that's a sign that, hey, we might need to look into something um, that has to do with their health, right? All of their coats look good. None of them are limping. Their hooves look good on the kids. So now I'm about to do a similar check on the mama goats. And after that, we could get everyone rotated, y'all. All right, y'all. So here on our farm, we have six mama goats, okay? We have the two right here that y'all helped name. We have Mocha, we have Latte, and next to Latte, we have Snow White. And over here, Next to me, this one right here is Peaches. We have Valentine, who's such a cutie. You see the heart on her back? She was also born on January 14th, one month before Valentine's Day. And she's the only one that's not a Kiko. Yep, she's the only one that's not a Kiko. These are all Kiko goats. She's a fainting goat. But that's why we named her Valentine. When she was born, plus the heart on her back. And then we have Mama Goat. Now, Mama Goat has the twins, Carol and Caramel. Uh, she also has Snow White. Snow White right over there is Mama Goat's baby. So, uh, Mama, if you can do some filming for me as I run around and just check everyone out one by one. So right now what I'm doing, y'all, is I'm checking their famacha. So the famacha is a score that lets us know what their warm load is. Now, it is worth noting that checking their famacha is not the end-all, be-all. It's just one of the tools in your back pocket to help you understand the health of your goats. This isn't the only way to check for worms. Um, the recommended way is a fecal sample, right? Get some of their goat 
you know what? Put it under a microscope and you can see their warm level, right? So the darker it is, like, you know, think of a steak and I'm gonna put the Pomata score up on the screen, but that's what I'm looking for. So, Mama Goat looks good. Valentine looks good. Ooh, Peaches, you look great, girl. Is that Snow White? Yeah. Oh, Snow White looks amazing. Okay, here. Make them run. Go behind them so they run towards me, and then I'll get them when they get over here. All right. Who is this? Mocha. Okay, go that way. Is she pink? All right. Yeah. They all look good, y'all. And outside of that, once again, look at their coats. I mean, if it's, if it's any shinier, I would have to wear shades out here. So their coats look good. Their eyes look good. Their poop looks the way it's supposed to look, right? It's not clumpy, it's not loose. These are things that are signs of your goat's health as well. So they look good, y'all. So what we're gonna do next is uh, Mama, Mama Goat. Mama Goat's the only one that I know needs her hoods done. So we got to do her hood, y'all. I'll be right back with you. I got my shears, y'all. About to check out some hoods. Mama Goat for sure, but I'm gonna look at the other ones. Get them nice and healthy before this rotation. Hey, you can't just get goats and throw them out there, y'all. You also can't just have one goat. They're a herd animal, okay? Doing these checks is vital. Staying on top of your vaccinations, vital. If you have animals, they're in your charge, man. You gotta love those babies. So that's what we're doing. Um, we live in Florida, y'all. We're at sea level, below sea level, or something around sea level. <laughs> We have sand, not dirt, you know? We don't have a lot of hills or elevation, it's, it's flat. Therefore, we don't have uh, uh, rocks, mountains, boulders, things like that. If you live on a property that has a lot of stones, rocks, boulders, uh, steep hills that have those things on them that I just mentioned that they're gonna be going up and down and hopping around and playing on and traversing, you probably don't have to do this right here. Um, but we have some goats that will need it because we don't have any of those things, so. Yep, and y'all, I don't know if y'all know that's Nico's shirt. Turn around, babe. But this is one of his favorite movies. Yeah, I talk about it all the time. <laughs> he does. Sandlot. Yes. Killing me smalls. And you may have noticed some signs around the property, so if you notice them, let us know because that is his favorite. <laughs> This evening, when I heard music echo through the night, the same old songs that I heard the night before, so I started running so I wouldn't be too late. So now we're gonna let the girls out so they can come into the main yard, the house yard and call it. <laughs> come on girls.
They heard the buckets, y'all. <laughs> Our strategy is working so far. Let's see how it goes. All right, y'all. We got a convoy. I have a bucket of food. Egypt has a bucket of food right there. And this is how you do it. When we say bucket train, this is what we mean, y'all. It makes moving your goats easier. It makes moving your goats easier because they see you with that bucket and they don't care what's on the other end of the journey. They're gonna follow that bucket. So we're on our way to their new pasture. Let's see if we can get this done, y'all. So we're gonna play musical chairs, y'all. I got Mike right there. Oreo's all the way over there. Got my boy Zeus. Come on, goats. So the boys are bucket trained as well. You see, we're shaking this bucket and Mike is like, wow, this is earlier than normal, but okay. Y'all can see how grown up, look. <laughs> Y'all can see how grown up this pasture is. And that's exactly why we're moving them. The girls are gonna come in here, 11 of them, and have a field day. These weeds under these trees, which were way worse, the boys did a good job, but the girls are gonna come in here and show them how it's done. So we're playing musical chairs. I'm walking this way with the boys. They're gonna follow me all the way through. And look, look at peanut butter. <laughs> See him over there, y'all. So we got peanut butter and Oreo. They're gonna follow me through this gate right here, which will put them where the girls were, okay? And then y'all can still see Mama and Pharaoh, Egypt's down there by the gate. They're gonna go through that gate down there in order to get the girls into this pasture. So, gonna get this one open. As y'all can see, the plan is working. Look at these handsome fellas. We don't show the boys much, but check them out, y'all. That's Oreo. This is our guy, Big Mike. And that's peanut butter. And you can't tell me these are not some healthy boys. Once again, coat look good. Body look good. Their personality is as it should be. Woo, I love it. All right, y'all. They're with me. So, they've never come through this gate before. They may think it's a trick, but hopefully they follow Zeus. Good job, Zeus, lead the way. Okay. So they're following the bucket. They're following Zeus. And now I'm gonna put them over here. Uh, I'm gonna pour this food on the swing. I'm gonna pour this food on the swing, y'all. Right over here and we'll get them set up. So as y'all can see, I got my, my goats in a row. <laughs> I think this is the boys' favorite pasture. Whenever they're over here, they tend to love it. So I'm sure they'll enjoy their time over here, however long that is. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour the food out on here. And let the boys have at it. Now the swing is new to them. <laughs> swing, the swing is new to them. Last time they were in this pasture, the swing wasn't there. So it's gonna take some getting used to. Peanut butter is an unregistered Kiko. So he's for our commercial line of Kiko goats. Big Mike there is a registered Kiko goat. So he is for our registered line of goats that we sell. And Oreo there is a fainting goat. So fainting goats are meat goats as well. And that's what he is here, uh, here for. Um, and he actually is the girl Sahara and uh, Egypt's pet because they wanted a fainting goat. Why not, right? So, yeah. Hey, wind, wind chime, the wooden wind chime, still going strong, y'all. Still going strong. I'm shocked myself, but it's still going. And y'all know we love our signs. This is what uh, Natalie was talking about earlier in the video, <laughs> that I have a sign. You're killing me, Smalls. Right here in Goatopia. 
because of course I wore it on my shirt today. So, hey, not yet. So as y'all can see, the girls have the water filling up for Zeus and the girls. And I talked about Esther, how she's still living her best life. She's over here. Hey, don't do that, man. I'm right here. <laughs> hey, hey. But y'all can see she's all right, y'all. She's living her best life. So the vet will be here next week, y'all, to take a look at that umbilical hernia that she has. Um, but they both have gotten so much bigger. I think your mom, when she gets home, is going to be shocked. Yeah, she won't be able to catch Leroy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> at all. At all. But over here in this pasture, the girls do still have shelter. This is where they'll be fed. I'm probably going to build uh, a fence line feeder. I'm probably going to get that project done uh, sooner than later. As you can see, the girls are right here enjoying some food. There's two missing. It's probably Valentine and her daughter. Yeah, I think they went over there. Yeah, they like to run off and do their own thing, but I'm going to hold Zeus and get him away from the gate. So Egypt's opening the gate. All right, y'all, here they come. This is some good stuff. They're barely gonna get in the gate before they stop and try to, <laughs> and try to eat. But I mean, look at this. These weeds and this tall bahia grass or bahia grass, tomato, tomato, right? All right, here they go, y'all. Y'all, can y'all see that? I can't tell which one it is. Maybe peaches? But peaches is up in the feeder on top of it. That's funny. <laughs> Whew. All right, y'all. It took a little finagling, but we got them all in here. They're already starting to enjoy the lushness of this pasture. So I'm sure they're gonna be having a great time. Um, Zeus now, Zeus does this, donkeys do this as well. Whenever something new is introduced to them, they just run, run them, play with them a little bit. Um, sooner or later, it's gonna to get to a point where he's like, uh, these toys are no fun. And he'll see that they're just there. They're going to be in there with him, just like it was with the boys at one point. So he'll probably run them for a day or so. But we'll pay close attention to make sure he's not stressing them out too much. Yeah, because he's going to get tired of pot. <laughs> if he wanted to catch them, he could, y'all. He's really just trying to get a look at them. Yeah. yeah, he's trying to get a look at them. So we're not worried about that. He's gonna run himself ragged, get tired. He has full water over there and plenty of shade when he decides that it's time for him to lie down, so. <laughs> he just wants to look at him. <laughs> yep. Look, they went over there to keep eating a little bit more. You see, he's just looking at him, like mama just said. So, just inquisitive. <laughs> hey, y'all Y'all wanna know something funny? Zeus likes to eat the goat foods also, so. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He thinks he's a goat. One of our neighbors jokes that he thinks he's a goat. All right, so y'all see, we got fancy pants, we have Snow White, we have Mocha, we have Latte already over here. And I knew this was the buffet, you know what I mean? If they were at Golden Corral right now, this is the steak. They said everything else is cool, but let's go to the steak. <laughs> uh, you know, nice weeds in the shade, I knew that they were going to have a great time over here on this stuff. So, and you can see them. They all have uh, mouthfuls right now. So, so happy that they're back here in this pasture. They're going to have a great time. The boys, it's going to get to a point where it's going to trade again, y'all, because the three boys won't be able to keep up with the pasture over there. So after the girls eat down over here, and I, I think it's going to take them, I think this is going to take them about a month, maybe two to eat this down but after they eat this down y'all we'll just rotate them again as predicted he would need to cool off so there he is over there in his water <laughs> and told y'all he does that we just filled it the water's going to be super brown now but he does that to cool himself off so he'll be good 
the girls will be good as well. As you can see, they're in there eating. So everyone's still getting settled. Hey, Carol. Now we do have kitty pools, y'all. But Zeus has outgrown his kitty pool. Frankie's outgrown her kitty pool. Uh, Esther and Leroy have a pool in there that still works for them that they get inside. Natalie and I have been on the lookout for like the larger kitty pools, but they're sold out in our area. All we can find right now are like the smaller ones. And we've been by all your local spots, right? So Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walmart, Lowe's, Tractor Supply. Everyone has the small one. We need that big one, y'all. The really, really big one. Uh, it's still the kitty plastic pool. It's just the larger one. You know what I mean? So as soon as we find them, we're buying them. And we're going to put one for Zeus? in here for Zeus. We're going to put one in there for Frankie and eventually the Goslings. Mm -hmm. And that should be it, right? We need two. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We need points. two. So, yeah, y'all. I would say that today was a success. Yeah, it actually went pretty smooth. We had an idea. We're like, we know the girls like to eat in the house yard and then we know they're bucket trained. The one that I was nervous about was the boys because last fall when Nico was away for work and they were all ready to breed, um, they did not want to go through that gate. Like they were not having it. Mm -hmm. But now we got to get inside because look. Oh, it's hot, y'all. It's hot. Baby Pharaoh's hot. It's hot. He needs I'm to get hot. out of this sun, get into some AC yeah. and... He got his uh, sunlight. His doctor did say that it's good for him to have a little sunlight, but not that much. And we've probably been outside for about an hour. So yeah. I think that- and he's only uh, been out of his seat for like maybe 15 minutes. But... Yeah, so he's been in direct sunlight for about 15 minutes. I would argue that that's enough sunlight for him for today. So we're gonna get him inside. We're gonna go ahead and clean everything up because y'all know we gotta keep it that way 24 seven. If you keep it clean bit by bit, it doesn't get dirty, it doesn't get messy, and you don't end up with a huge mess to clean because you clean in the moment all the time. Now, that's beautiful. One thing I do love about the boys being in this uh, pasture again is they'll get even higher where the girls couldn't get, so we'll be able to continue to clean up under the trees and lift them up which is a beautiful thing, so absolutely love that.